find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. But I ain't starving yet. Chain for the pain, cocktail dog set. Never said I was a gangster or thug, but I'm an animal. Eat up for the taste of the fly. Six, six, six. Hey guys, welcome to the Indie Mayhem Show, episode 27. Happy to be back here again. I'm Sorgatron, Mike Sorg, at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Of course, uh, doing video production over at SorgatronMedia.com, where we work with a lot of wrestling and have some fun doing it. Also with me from Texas, as usual, I think you're still in Corpus Christi, right, Eamon? Still in Corpus Christi. You're still stuck in this in this wrestling wasteland. So, of course, but I'm glad to be on the on the show once again. Of course, uh, play by play uh, uh, commentator for Inspire Pro Wrestling down there in Texas. Got some cool things going on down there, and uh, we'll be getting hardcore today with Matt Tremont talking VOW, CZW, and hardcore wrestling in general. But first, big thanks to uh, Basic Sickness for our intro song. Check them out, basicsickness.com for uh, videos, free music, all kinds of stuff there and you can check us out wrestlingmayhemshow.com for this show indie mayhem show past episodes past interviews as well as the main show uh wrap-ups after shows for uh the wwe tna stuff as well and you can also drop us a line to good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com please hit a subject line indie uh or drop a line to 412-206-wms0 on the hotline you can call it drunk we're very entertained by that there was singing by some kids in the background on the show earlier tonight, so that's a <laughs> lot of fun. And of course, you can pick up the Indie Mayhem show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, YouTube, and iHeartRadio in audio and video formats. And you can catch us here live 11 p.m. Eastern Time at live.sorgatronmedia.com. I think that's everything, Eamon. Can we get right to it? I think it is, Sorg. We got a very <laughs> special guest this week, don't we? We do, we do. Uh, of course, I've been very pleased in the past few weeks we started picking up uh, VOW, Vicious Outcast Wrestling. We've talked about them, uh, been on the show. Uh, we're carrying the digital downloads over at SorgatronMedia.com. Great to see this this group coming up here in the area, in the outskirts of, of Pittsburgh. And one of these guys, I know he's popped up a few months ago. I got to catch up on his matches. Uh, is Matt Tremont joining us on the line. How you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing great, gentlemen. Thank you for having me on. Thanks for coming on. Thanks Thank for coming on. Now, now this is interesting. Like I said, I think you're the first hardcore wrestler that we've had on the on the show uh, since we started off. Um, of course, uh, big in CZW, uh, and of course, recently in VW. Of course, uh, tell us when when people uh, see see that name Matt Tremont Tremont on the card. Uh, uh, you know what what can they expect from you? Uh I, I, I tend to hear a lot of people say I'm, I'm you know, kind of a throwback. Uh, I, you know, I grew up watching a lot of the older guys, Buzz Sawyer's, Kevin Sullivan's, Terry Funk's. Those, those are the guys that I, I, you know, I try to not emulate, but you know, guys I enjoyed watching, uh, emotionally investing in as a fan, and their, their styles, how they carry themselves, their characters, uh, you know, et cetera, and. Uh, I just, you know, try to, you know, I'm all about being a character. Uh, I don't do a million moves in the ring. I don't need mm-hmm. to. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, what I, what I do in the ring is, you know, a lot of character stuff, working with the crowd, accentuate my positives, hide my negatives, uh, and just, just working with the crowd, make sure they get their, you know, they get their money's worth at the end of the night. Awesome. Uh, so uh, we like to bring it back a little bit on the show, and you know, you wouldn't be doing this in any wrestling if you didn't get into wrestling at some point. So tell us, what is your earliest memory? Like, what is the thing that really kind of said, you know, wrestling is the thing? Uh, uh, I mean, probably from about the age of nine, ten is when I really started getting heavy into it. Started watching it religiously every, you know, every Monday night. You know, mm-hmm. growing up as a kid with the Monday Night Wars and having just you know that you know growing up in that in that the, the next big boom period of professional wrestling you know wrestling was at your fingertips every week uh on every other station with you know a multitude of promotions running uh not, you know 98 99 was really when i started you know getting into it and uh just falling in love with it i mean the, the first ever vhs tape i got my hands on Wound up being the 1995 IWA Japan King of the Death matches. Wow. So at the age of 10 years old, uh, to be influenced and you know for for a, a, you know young virgin eyes to see 
the, the first thing of wrestling I ever see is Terry Funk and Mick Foley blowing themselves up in Japan in barbed wire. Um, definitely does something to a kid at 10 years old. It, it mesmerized me. It, it was something from that point on I fell in love with, and it's what I wanted to do, and it's what I get to do today. Wow, wow. And, and I see that you started about, uh, looks like roughly four years ago in September, according to info I found on you. Uh, and uh, did you know, like, like just straight up hardcore was the way to go for you? Uh, I mean, it, it's my bread and butter. It's a style and genre that's not everybody's cup of tea. But like mm-hmm. I said, it, it, it's what I got into at a young age. And it's what I wanted to apply my craft in. I, I initially started my training in 2007 at the age of 17. Uh, worked matches, uh, you know, went as far as like upstate Pennsylvania. Uh, mm-hmm. I was still in high school at the time, so I couldn't really dedicate myself to it full time. Uh <clears throat> So 2008 and 2009, I you know I can you know, I went back to school and you know I, I was still young. I was still trying to find out what I was what I wanted and what I wanted to do in life. Uh, and then come about 2010, you know, <clears throat> I knew my basic bumps and you know you know the, uh, <clears throat> the trials and tribulations of the wrestling business. But at that point, you know, I'm done school. You know, I'm about 19, 20 years old of, you know, of age now, and I, and I knew this is what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I wound up moving back to the New Jersey area, getting getting involved with another school, uh, training, you know, learning the ropes all over again, uh, just, to, just to show, the, you know, that school that I went to, that I was just willing to do what it takes to learn the ropes, learn the craft, and do things the right way. And since September of 2010, I've been off to the races. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, now I know, uh, Eamon and I, uh, we don't have a lot of hardcore wrestling, uh, that we're following in our respective areas. I know the, the promotions yeah. I work for are, are very seemingly anti-hardcore for the most part. Uh, uh, how is there still a lot out of it? Has it, you know, CZW of course seems like it's going through, uh, everything I hear, it seems like a little bit of a metamorphosis. It's not just the hardcore mm-hmm. wrestling all, all the time. Uh, that they've been known for um, is is the business changing as far as that has everything we know about concussions and, and other issues kind of uh, 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 shying some promotions away from that you think like what is the state out there with hardcore wrestling uh, I think generally the business has evolved so much uh, within the past five to seven years mm-hmm. and hardcore wrestling has evolved with it um, deathmatch wrestling itself with, you know, the, the, the more dangerous aspect and style and genre of the sport, uh, was very prevalent in the mid two thousands and it sort of dropped off. It's not as popular as it once was, but a lot of things I think have come into play, uh, to, to help, um, not, not, not take down the popularity, but a, a, as far as the safety and health of the safety and health is a big issue in the business now. Yeah. Also bleeding, bleeding with each other. Um, I'm very happy about places like CZW that, that mandates blood testing and stuff like that. So, you know, cause I mean, you're in, you're in there bleeding with guys and, and you don't know these guys outside the business and what they do in their personal lives. So, I mean, and, and I had a health scare last year, but thank God because of the, because of that testing, you know, mandated by certain state athletic commissions, you know, I, I wound up getting, you know, the situation take care, you know, taken care of. And it wound up being something else. So uh, <clears throat> I think it's definitely helped the evolution of uh, of wrestling in general and, and hardcore as a as a style and genre of the sport. Uh, it'll always be around. It's been around hundreds of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, programs and angles are built up to big blow offs and cages and ladders and tables and that you know mm-hmm. it, to, to a specific degree. That's you know still kind of hardcore. Um, I'm able to do this. It's my bread and butter. I enjoy it. Uh, you know, I, I have fun. Uh, I think also how it has evolved over the last five to 10 years. Uh, it's not just a bunch of guys going in the ring and just smashing each other in the head with weapons. It's a, it's a lot of hybrid athletes going in there, still going in there, working, telling a story, building up the spots, building up the weapons and really putting on an entertaining match. That's just uh, a little more, more violent and brutal and brutal. Uh, than your regular catch as catch can, you know, classics. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but there is a, lot, a very good, loyal, hardcore fan base for that style and genre, and it's still going and kicking today. Awesome. 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 And I know, um, I mean, you mentioned in the in the early goings about how 
hardcore style wrestling was sort of the thing that got you in and and became your thing. And I know uh, from uh, from the interviews that you've done in the past is that you've mentioned that CZW was a big influence for you, and a lot of the guys that were the mainstays of CZW uh, were sort of big influences. So what was it like to finally get to work for that company? I know uh, that it must have been a really big deal for you. Uh, it definitely was. I mean, by the time I got into wrestling, ECW was on its way out the door. CZW was that next big local independent uh, company that I could latch on to and say, hey, uh, that's my home promotion. Like, you know, CZW didn't run that very, you know, that very far from me. So when, you know, I, I'm at, you know, I'm in the midst of being as hardcore as a fan as I can be growing up. And now I have this home based promotion right in New Jersey. And, you know, from that point on, I would watch fake you TV every Friday night on local syndication in Jersey or Philly. And I, I just knew from that point, you know, my goal was, you know, to learn the ropes, become a professional wrestler and make it to CZW. And, uh, for, for years supporting the company, paying my $20 month in and month out to go watch the shows mm-hmm. as I emotionally invested as a fan and to see guys like John Zandig and Nick Gage and Eddie Kingston and, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, it, it just got to the point <clears throat> where, you know, I enjoyed myself on one side of the guardrail and I wanted to make that, tr- I wanted to make that transition to the other side and become, you know, a performer in CZW. And, you know, literally when I made my debut for the company in 2011, I literally hopped the guardrail from the very seat that I used to sit in and, uh, you know, made my debut at the ECW arena in victory to go into the tournament of death two weeks later. So for, you know, a kid growing up with the company to then debut in the famous arena from the from the spot I used to sit in where fans knew me already as Matt Tremont, that's my shoot name. Um, mm, you know, they nice. knew me already. When I hopped the guardrail and they seen this kid who was one of them who supported this company from day one, uh, hop the guardrail and go in there and now do death matches. Um, you know, I had their support since day one. And I think that's one of, one of the uh, definite, you know, positive attributes I've been able to have uh, is and how I've been able to be so successful so early on and it's because of the support of that of the of the crowd and uh and CZW and it's, it's it was you know that, that was my dream when I was 13 years old and now I get to live it every month. Awesome. Amazing. It's a really awesome story and and like you said to see you know coming from being a fan to going to that uh to that kind of a level. Uh I was curious about uh obviously we're talking a lot about you know the hardcore deathmatch style. Uh I for example, for myself, I actually had the pleasure of uh, last Inspire Pro Wrestling show to work with Masada. Uh, and mm-hmm. that was uh, the show he worked for us was actually the night after Tournament of Death, where he had wrestled uh, three times that night. Uh, which And it just sort of amazed me, his ability to sort of, you know, do that kind of a tournament and then make his way, you know, to Austin, Texas to wrestle for us. It was it was kind of shocking to me. I was always curious about the um, the injuries that come with that style of wrestling because, I mean, guys like you and guys like Masada, uh, you guys still work, you know, full wrestling schedules and, and all that stuff. Do you ever, I mean, have you had any really big injuries in your career? Do you have, you know, that, that do you feel that kind of effect, I guess is the best way to put it? Uh, fortunately enough for myself so far in the almost seven years of doing this, I've never had any broken bones, knock on wood. Um, a lot of scars, uh, a, a lot of trips to the hospital to get stitched up, a lot of super glue to close wounds. Um, but I mean, I, I knew this at a young age that getting into this, um, genre of the sport, I knew what I was going to be putting my body through on a physical toll and emotional toll. It takes it, it, it takes a toll on you. I'm 25 years old. I have a bad hip and two bad knees already that I have to drain fluid out of every morning. But I wanted I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, I'm, I'm 25, but I I feel like I'm 45 already. But I, I wouldn't change a thing. I I enjoy what I do. I knew what I was doing when I got into doing this, and I I don't re- and I don't regret a thing. Definitely. Um, now you've gone to, like you said, mentioned you you wrestled in Tournament of Death. You wrestled Cage of Death uh, uh, not too long ago. Um, are, there, are there any goals that you have for maybe people that you want to face down the line? Uh, if you have any matches that you haven't had the chance to compete in that you would like to, is there any sort of sort of goals that you have in mind uh, uh, continuing forward? Uh, 
in, in, in the time period I've been doing this, I've been able to, you know, a lot of opportunities have been forwarded to me through hard work. And I've had the, you know, opportunity to be in, a, in the ring with a lot of guys that I grew up watching, uh, a lot of tournaments under my belt, uh, nice. Cage of Death main events, you know, so on and so forth. As far as continuing to build the brand that the Matt Tremont is and uh, to have longevity of a career is definitely to branch out and show the world that I'm, you know, Matt Tremont's more than just a hardcore guy, which I've been able to do a lot in 2014 and just wrestle. Strong style, just go in there, tell a good story, and uh, without weapons, you know. So that's been a real big main goal of mine this year uh, to do. Um, as far as, you know, media goals, you know, going to Japan and wrestling for Big Japan Pro Wrestling mm. is definitely a goal of mine since I've been young. Um I hope the opportunity, you know, presents itself at some point. Um, you know, I, I, my big thing is, you know, patience is a virtue. And I, I you know, I, I'm always very patient. And, when, you know, when the opportunity comes, it'll present itself. And, you know, I'm usually at the right place at the right time. So definitely Japan, anything overseas is always a lot of fun. Um, there, you know, there, there's a few guys out there I'd like to work Um but, uh, you know, I've, I've been very fortunate thus far to be in, to have shared a ring with a lot of great workers and great talent and learn from them. And, you know, it's, it's been a good ride so far. But just continuing to have longevity in the sport, continuing to entertain and make a couple bucks while I'm doing it, uh, you know, is, is the goal. Awesome. Uh, okay. see, and, see, of course, we see a couple of shows coming up, of course. Uh, I get, I'm excited for this one. I, I happen to be going back to the gathering, the Juggalos, this year for the first time in years, and I see you're in a pretty crazy match, uh, according to this poster I see on your Facebook. Yeah, I just uh, I've been uh, you know negotiating back and forth with uh, JCW throughout the year, and everything finally came to fruition within the last 24 hours or so. So I will definitely be making the trip to my first gathering this year, nice. uh, Bloody Mania. There's a deathmatch rumble with a lot of up and coming deathmatch guys, and uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be violent. It's going to be crazy, and then already violent and crazy atmosphere. I've, mm-hmm. I've heard a lot of stories about the gathering, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. The gathering, the gathering was my first indie show, I think in 2001, technically, and that included Madman Pondo and uh, Necro Butcher, Light Tubes, you name it, was all in there. That was my introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome awesome <laughs> um great and also i have I, I of course you know vow here locally coming up uh uh in Con- Connellsville, pa down at the ice mine uh i see you're attached to this one match you know we've talked about on the show the, the vow always has the most interesting matches on their cards and there's some structure that they're calling the four sides of anarchy do you know anything about this going into the match uh, I don't. I, I'm not privy of too of too much knowledge going into this. Uh, I know the last time I was there in June, when I was able to capture the Anarchy title in the three way match, uh, there, the 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 one weapon we we used was a, a piece of lattice, piece of wood. I believe the ring is going to be surrounded uh, by this wood structure. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, you know, uh, VOW is an up and coming company that I've. Uh, very happy to be aboard with they, they you know they put forth a solid product they got a good mix of talent mm-hmm. established names and up and coming guys and uh i'm i'm very happy to be working with this company and uh you know for them to put stock in me uh to you know to bring my style of anarchy to their company to help build their name to help you know build my name uh you know i've been there twice so far third time <clears throat> this coming week at the, at, on friday and uh, now that they're doing real good things, and the uh, the four sides of anarchy is it, it, it's 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 what it says. It's going to be anarchy, and we're you know we're going to give the fans their money's worth. It says according to their Facebook post on here, uh, it, the ring will be surrounded by a lattice full of staples and nails. Thanks. So. Awesome. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's say you've been at this for a few years. Uh, we like to kind of uh, ask, you know, what is the best part? of indie wrestling up to this point and what's the worst part you can go either first man i, I mean uh, I, i'm usually a pretty positive guy in general i just I, I i enjoy life i enjoy what i get to do uh at first i i wasn't the biggest fan of traveling uh you know once i started having trips that were you know eight and ten hours plus 
But, you know, sometimes I used to dread those. But after a while, man, like, I really enjoyed, you know, the travel and the road trips. And, you know, it's just stories and memories, you know, that I'll be able to, you know, keep in the brain and always remember. And uh, there is nothing... You know, obviously in the business, there's politics and there's drama. I stay away from all that. I don't get involved in other people's business. I'm pretty, I'm a pretty quiet guy. I keep to myself. I just do my thing. I do my business and I try to build, build good relationships with the promoters and the promotions, you know, that bring me in and, and, and pay me to do what I do. So I just, I enjoy what I'm doing. You know, I don't get caught up in all that stuff. You know, sometimes I get to take the wife with me on the road and she gets to, you know, enjoy these places that we may never have the opportunity to go to. I, I would have never went to Germany, Mexico, or Canada if That's I never awesome. became a professional wrestler. But I've, I've had that opportunity to do so because of wrestling. Um, you know, even states in the United States, I would have never went to half of these places. And because mm-hmm. of professional wrestling, you know, I was told by Necro Butcher and Drake Younger, you make it in this business when you travel on another man's dime. And I've been fortunate enough to do that quite a few times now. And I'm, I'm having fun. Great. Awesome. Very cool. Great. Cool. Uh, so uh, let us know, other than, of course, we mentioned VOW, The Gathering, you got CZ. Actually, are you on the CZW show this weekend? Yes. It uh, will be myself and Ron Mathis uh, taking on Danny Havoc and Devin Moore in an ultra violent tag team match. Uh, myself and Danny Havoc have been uh, <clears throat> going at it for the last year or so. So we will continue. Uh, our, our rivalry. We, we both have a grievance towards each other and we will continue to get violent and see where it all, you know, all leads, uh, at the end of all this. It's easy to, so like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make the five hour trip to VOW this Friday, hmm. four sides of anarchy, and then head right up, right back to Jersey for an ultra violent tag team encounter at CZW. And, uh, the following weekend, July 19th, I, uh, all point wrestling, in Williamstown, New Jersey, where I will go one-on-one finally after being advertised for Extreme Rising multiple times and not coming to fruition. Mm. Myself and Bulls Mahoney will uh, finally collide at uh, nice. at Old Point Wrestling on July 19th. Nice. nice. Awesome. And, of course, they can find you up on the social media. Where's that at? Uh, on the Facebook. You know, just Matt Tremont, type my name in. It'll pop up. Also, like page. Uh, subscribe to the uh, YouTube page, Matches and Promos, uh, youtube.com slash uh, Tremont CZW. Um, you know, I'm always, you know, always on social media. You can follow me on Twitter as well at Tremont CZW. All right. Thanks a lot, Matt Tremont. Check them out here if you're in the Pittsburgh area uh, in Connellsville, PA, ViciousOutcastWrestling.com, CZW on iPay-Per-View pay-per-view or uh, DVD later on uh, for both companies. Uh, so uh, thanks a lot. Thank you guys for having me, man. I had a blast. Thank you. If you want to support this show and also support indie wrestling, uh, this is another way you can do it. And I'm sure you've heard about this on other podcasts, like Art of Wrestling, the great show, and and this or like that up, other podcast called the Wrestling or that other show. yeah or that Wrestling Mayhem show thing. Uh, <laughs> we are over on ProWrestlingTees.com. We don't really have an official logo. We just kind of have something I slapped together for the beginning of the show. So maybe we'll get somebody to work on that. Uh, but we are over at ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. We got some great stuff over there. Our email address: Good Times Wrestling Mayhem Show. Property of Mayhem as seen on SmackDown TV. Legit. Hey. Right beside Roman Reigns over there. But also you can go over there, support indie wrestling. Uh, a lot of a lot of friends of the show are on here. People have been on the wrestling mayhem show with us, like Zima Ion, uh, uh, like Johnny Gargano, and of course other guys just not in the WWE. You know they're going to get more of your money and, if you're giving it to and yes. and as Sorg just showed it right there on the little uh, the scrolly thing. Uh, the official distributor for New Japan Pro Wrestling merch. Yes, so, that's the big get, one. Old Club as well, your, right? Get your Bullet Club t-shirts, get all your New Japan merch that you can't get because you're in America. Go get it. <laughs> but start off at ProWrestlingTees.com. <laughs> I just got that. Uh, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. Let's put, throw something in the card to support this show. Uh, or these this line of shows, at least. And also support the indie wrestlers out there uh, by buying their stuff, too. So, uh, so you discovered something across the sea. Speaking of New Japan, but the other sea, I guess. The other uh, wh- sea. What yeah. did you find? A little, a little bit closer, I guess you oh, could good. say. Um, but uh, I've been. I, I'm always keeping my eyes open and, and my ears, you know, open on the independent wrestling world. Uh, I found a promotion that a lot of people were talking about in the UK, actually, uh, called Progress. 
Uh, these guys, I, I got a first glimpse of them, and I, they have a lot of names that you may recognize if you're a, a super, you know, following of not just UK wrestling, but wrestling in general. Uh, guys like Prince Devitt, you may have heard of the guy. He may be signing with WWE soon. Uh, guys like Zach, Zach Sabre Jr. Uh, I'm, I'm actually looking on their website. I didn't realize this. I, they have Samoa Joe booked for an upcoming show. Oh, wow. Uh, in London. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, they've got a lot of cool stuff. They're also releasing a lot of their content for free, which I think is something that's really cool with independent wrestling and something that I think the best independent wrestling companies do is, you know, release some stuff for free, whether it be a match here and there or, or you know, whatever it may be. This, this one, they released a full show for free. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a two and a half hour show that you can watch uh, entirely for free uh, off of their YouTube channel. And that's super cool. Um, so there's, you know, stuff you can check out from there. There's a lot of wrestlers, obviously, like I mentioned, freaking, you know, Samoa Joe, you know, TNA wrestler coming in there. There's a lot of wrestlers, um, that are, are coming in. I actually hear a lot of really good things about the UK wrestling scene. So if you want to find some guys that, you know, you may have vaguely heard of, but never really got seen before, uh, this is a good way to do it. And it exposes people to a new side of professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and new people, and you can make new favorites, and that's what I love about it. Uh, you can go to progresswrestling.com, uh, go to their YouTube channel. I believe it's youtube.com slash progresswrestling. Um, I think it's super cool, and I love companies like this. And the way their, uh, I believe it's their Chapter 13 event uh, that's full on their YouTube uh, channel, the way it's shot is really great, too. It's one of the things I really like. It's, it's something you don't expect from independent. You know, it's it's... It, it, you can tell there's time and, and a lot of lot of effort being put into that production because that is amazing stuff. Um, so there is really, really cool stuff happening in the UK. You should know about it. I just wanted to point that out there and, and, and see. I, I kind of want to, you know, I, I'm always looking. I'm always finding these, like, small little projects or, or groups or matches or wrestlers or whatever it may be. Um, so keep an eye out in the world of independent wrestling because you never know what you'll find. Um, and with the internet and with social media and with various other, uh, avenues, any indie wrestling company can be found from anywhere. Um, I, I I'll give a personal example. Um, uh, Inspire Pro, which we'll talk about in a little bit. There was a guy tweeting us from Brazil, uh, today because he wanted to find out if, how we could watch our shows. There's people from Brazil wanting to know about independent wrestling that's happening in Texas and wanting to see more of it. That's amazing, and that's what's so cool about independent wrestling. Um, mm -hmm. The reason we talk about a lot of these major guys, and, and Sorg, I know we talk about, you know, companies that have DVD distribution, or companies that are on YouTube, or whatever it might be. I think it's because, you know, it's beyond your local town. It's beyond appealing to the people that will pay money to actually attend your show. It's beyond that. That's um, that's how far indie wrestling can expand, and there's a lot of companies that are capitalizing on that. I feel so. That that's just one of them. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I I've had that experience since taking over the production for like say IWC. Actually, even RWA, mm -hmm. I, I've sent to yeah. some countries. Like I think it's some RWA. We went to Germany. There's a guy in Denmark who always gets to IWC. I think I sent that one to Australia once. Um, and See, I that's know, amazing. Though. That's awesome. And, and, that's and I know I've heard from from Dabrowski about some of the Montreal theories going to, to other countries. Of course, Canada. <laughs> yes, you know definitely. uh but but he'll always be like this one's going to da -da -da, you know it, that's that's really awesome to know that somebody like halfway across the world is is working on something uh that we're working on you know uh, uh and that these guys are working on They're, these guys that are you know are, are born and bred and brought up in, in in pittsburgh or texas you know uh are, are being seen around the world because of this uh and it, it, yeah. it's really cool awesome so definitely go check them out uh, you mentioned RWA. I believe RWA has a show this weekend. Uh, weekend I think they do, week. but I don't know how my calendar works. RWA Live, <laughs> and uh, their their big thing, um, of course, is Jock Sampson, friend of the show, uh, uh, returned to uh, this. Uh, did we even talk about this? Probably not, because I was still editing the show. Um, he defended the Ohio War Championship, War Heavyweight Championship, uh, at an RWA show. In PA. Very nice. That's awesome that there's this cross-promotional thing going on. People that nobody else is doing something with. 
Um, but also, uh, uh, they're they're doing it again. They're bringing some other people. So one of these guys just in Super India last month for IWC. Uh, but Aeroform is coming. Uh, one of my favorite tag teams from Ohio, from Prime yeah. Wrestling, uh, uh, up there in Cleveland. Uh, I've seen them all over the place there. Um, uh, Flip Kendrick and uh, Lewis Linden. Uh, a great tag team uh, and, and really going to up the game, I think, uh, for tag teams in in, uh, in the RWA, uh, who, of course, you know, they, they are, Wild West is there, uh, just returned, and, and Generation Dead is one of my big favorites uh, going on there. Friends of the show like Jason Gorey, uh, Gorey now, uh, uh, part of that, of course. Uh, so uh, you can check out what's going on there. This one's Resurrection. They usually have a lot of surprises at this one. Also, Jesse Bell Smothers uh, returning to take on Serafini, friend of the show. Uh, and another match with uh, Ryan Edmonds, Ryan Mitchell. Battle of the Ryans! Uh, also Battle on that Ryan. one. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, RWALive.com is a website. And of course, DVDs uh, available over at SorgatronMedia.com slash store. And digital download as well uh, is going to be up as well. Uh, and cool. also, do, do, do. Well, and, and you have something going on with Inspire Pro Wrestling. Well, we, it's a little while away, but we did actually today. We made a big announcement. We released our full card for our next event, nice. which is Jul- July twenty seventh. Uh, no turning back. It's our second of our XX division events, which uh, puts a focus on women's professional wrestling uh, and showcasing the best women talents from across the country. We mentioned before on the show, Barbie Hayden will be defending the NWA World Women's Championship against Mia Yim in the main event of the show. That's going to be absolutely killer uh there's gonna be a lot of good stuff we have athena uh coming back uh, obviously texas uh, texas resident uh, and texas mainstay uh leva bates is debuting for us that's gonna be awesome in a match against Paige turner uh solo darling is taking on uh solo darling of shine wrestling fame uh, and all around uh, uh the florida wrestling scene is going to be taking on a friend of the wrestling mayhem show delilah doom uh so that'll be a really nice. fun matchup uh speaking of that solo darling uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, go to either our Twitter or our Facebook page. I actually released a video of her adventures preparing to uh, make her debut in Texas. Oh, here it is. And, oh, my God, it is the craziest video you'll ever see. Um, I am so excited to be working with her because that's the level of what craziness. The hell? <laughs> she, she, yeah, she gets into a Texas shootout with her dog, and it's the, the weirdest thing, and it's amazing. And, and it, it's really cool to see. We're getting a lot of really cool uh, – excitement buzzing oh, all wow. around oh well I, yeah i actually saw your poster posted a read favorite or something by uh veda scott who i don't think is even on the card talking about how she, 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 she was here for our may show but yeah veda scott uh, definitely big supporter of uh inspire for wrestling and we thank you because i'm a big supporter of veda scott uh because she's awesome <laughs> yes yeah, so. um yeah definitely uh so that's going to be july 27th you can get your tickets oh. now at Inspire Pro This Wrestling is such Canada. a weird video. <laughs> it is the weirdest video, and it's so amazing. I'm so watching it after we're done with the show with sound on. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, go check us out, InspireProWrestling.com. Awesome. Uh, soon enough, we'll have our May event up on uh, Smart Mark Video, which features Barbie Hayden against Porsche Perez. It features a crazy ladder match. It features so many cool stuff many cool matches and, and cool stuff and you get to hear me talk over that why wouldn't you want to watch that um so definitely is that uh, a selling point <laughs> yeah I, I i'm just gonna assume it's a selling point i'm assuming if you've gone through enough of this podcast right now you're okay with listening to my voice so you'll be fine listening to an inspired pro wrestling show um but uh there's a couple events uh, that are coming up this weekend mm-hmm. uh, that we should touch on that are happening uh we met we obviously we talked with matt tremont a uh, couple of events that he's uh, working for. One, Combat Zone Wrestling. They have an event uh, coming up this weekend. Uh, a really, really cool show. Uh, New Heights. Uh, it should be uh, some really, really fun stuff, I believe, on the card. Uh, let's see. Biff Busick is defending his uh, and uh, his CCW World Heavyweight Championship against a mystery opponent. Uh, Shane Strickland's on the card. He's defending against Caleb Connolly. Obviously, sure, you've seen Shane Strickland a good amount of times. Mm-hmm. Uh, really, really, really amazing talent. Uh, Matt Tremont, uh, like you mentioned before, is teaming with Ron Mathis to take on Danny Havoc and Devin Moore in an ultra-violent tag team encounter. Uh, there's a lot of really cool, uh, interesting stuff that's going on in that show, so I encourage uh, you to go check that out. Uh, that's their new Heights event. You can go to czwrestling.com for more information. Uh, also, it's a double-header event uh, with uh, women superstars and censor. 
That's awesome. Uh, WSU. So if you want women's wrestling as well, uh, come to the show beforehand uh, to go check that out. Their main event is Lufisto making her first defense of the WSU championship against Mickey Knuckles. So that's going to be really cool stuff. Uh, and they've got a lot of really good, talented people on that show. Um, and that's, uh, both of those are also on iPay-Per-View. I believe you can go to czwipv.com uh, and go uh, order the iPay-Per-View as well. Awesome. Uh, I've actually ordered uh, a CZW and WSU iPay-Per-View in the past. And it's really, really good quality stuff. It's done good. through the guys good. Uh, at, at uh, RF Video. So nice. go nice. support them. And also, like we mentioned with Matt before, uh, July Justice, VOW. Uh, of course, I, Can I mention one quick thing about VOW? Sure. Uh, I love these titles. I love that it's just the month and then some uh, some uh, word that has the same first letter as the month. There's there, something I really love about that. There's Maximum Mayhem. The, uh, there was... There, there, but, and there was March, March Melee or something? Or, they, or there was, uh, October Onslaught, I know. Uh, I think November yeah, Rain was one of them. Uh, <laughs> of it, it, I mean, it, you know... Uh, I love it. I love it. I, 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 like, I think like this one was July Justice. I think there was a June Justice too last month, uh, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. So I thought that was a little weird. Uh, not but enough I, justice. Apparently, there's the, they need more justice, or we just don't like any other J words. Uh, Juicy July. I mean, it could have been VOW. Juicy July. It could have been a ladies show. You don't know. You I know? mean, it's convenient that they have two justice shows with uh, Matt Tremont uh, with his Anarchy Championship. So there you Anarchy go. Justice there you go. goes hand in hand. There you um, go. Like we said, the four sides of Anarchy match with him. And of course, uh, triple that heavyweight title with uh, Ryan Rain, Jimmy Nuts, David Starr. Uh, uh, the Assyrian- David Starr went half of the uh, current CPW Tag Team Champions. That's so. right. Assyrian Portal from uh, Chikara taking on the Generation Dead. Uh, with masks versus uh, unclothed lady match. I guess we can shorten that too. Whoa, okay. uh, penalty box match. It looks like it's a four away with facade. We were talking about that briefly when he was on here before. Uh, uh, br- uh, recently, uh, ladies match. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff going on there. Uh, so go check it out viciousoutcastwrestling.com on Facebook, all over the place. And of course, the digital downloads over at sortertrymedia.com as well. Uh, is that all? Is that all the indie wrestling fit to talk about that we've discovered this one, week? One show I do want to mention. One more. Uh, yes, uh, Ring of Honor. I, I still count them as this. Who? Yes. <laughs> who are they? By the way, by the way, ever, get a side note. Can I, can I side note on Ring of Honor? Really good article. Um, I believe it's on WrestleZone. Uh, uh, just look up Matt Hardy, Mark Madden. This is a Mark Madden article about Matt Hardy and how he's maybe the smartest person in indie wrestling right now. I know, right? Uh, but no, it's a really good article uh, about what he's doing and why it makes sense. And it's great for him and even Reggie Sky uh, about what he's doing with uh, Ring of Honor. Just want to put that out there uh, to, to plug that. Uh, a fan of WrestleZone. I worked with Mark uh, last month, uh, last year, last summer with a, a, a chair shot. Uh, doing their summer summer promotion. So, uh, uh, sorry, your your side of Ring of Honor though. Speaking of summer, uh, Ring of Honor is doing their summer heat tour, uh, which would be really cool stuff. Actually, the la- this next three shows, uh, the one this weekend and two next weekend, are going to be the last three events that you can see Kevin Steen wrestle because Kevin Steen, uh, he hasn't said, but he's going somewhere, maybe somewhere in Florida. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, this one in Hopkins, Minnesota, which is this weekend on the 12th, uh, Saturday, July 12th, has a big man event, a six-man tag team match. Uh, Adam Cole, Matt Hardy, and Mike Bennett uh, taking on the new Ring of Honor world champion, Michael Elgin. And War Machine, which is the team of Hanson and Ray Rowe. Obviously, you know Ray Rowe very well, mm-hmm. so do I. Uh, and Ray's main eventing a Ring of Honor show in the six-man tag. So that's huge what? for him. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I, it's so cool. I think he's also in a four-way tag somewhere coming up where they get a shot at the tag titles too. So mm-hmm. Ray Rose doing some amazing stuff right now. That's so great. Uh, also, also uh, Jay Lethal is taking on uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling's Takaki Watanabe, who I've had the pleasure of working with in Inspire Pro. Awesome guy, amazing wrestler. Uh, and there's a lot of cool stuff on that card. I also, um, like I mentioned, Kevin Steen, one of your final chances to get to see him. Uh, on this show, he will be wrestling Tommaso Ciampa. I know on the next couple of events, he'll be wrestling Silas Young and what will uh, presumably be his last match in Ring of Honor. He will be wrestling uh, one of his mentors, Steve Carino. Uh, so that's going to be some really cool stuff. So go go check out Ring of Honor. Why am I not they, watching they, Ring of Honor? What? What? They, have, they have this thing on the TV. You may have heard of it. Um, I don't watch anything yeah. on the TV. Are we over the yeah. airwaves? 
they still do that? Way. Also, just to point out that that four way tag I was talking about, it's Rowan Hansen against uh, BJ Whitmer, Jimmy Jacobs, the Briscoe brothers, and the new Ring of Honor uh, wrestlers against uh, Bad Influence. Ooh. Ring. So big names in that match. And, and, Let's see. Ring of know. Honor brought to me by Super Beta Prostate. What? I did get that as well. I, 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 <laughs> what the hell? I've been, asked, I've been asked if I have knee and back pain. Um, <laughs> I, I don't. Thank you, Ring of Honor. Thank you, Ring of um, Honor, for worrying about me. <laughs> yes, I appreciate that. I do not need your... Oh, thank you. Wheel, Wheels actually pointed out. It's June Judgment. I'm sorry. I hope I June wrote that down judgment. right. June Judgment, I, I, and then Justice. I would, have under, I would have understood if there were two justices. It's fine being It's okay. We totally it's okay. We can... It's understandable. <laughs> you know, I've only named one wrestling show in my life. so That's okay. <laughs> and then they never came back. <laughs> oh. Well, you know. But, yeah, that's the indie wrestling that's happening this weekend, Sorg. I'm, I'm proud of my Clearfield Cataclysm. Thank you very much. I love Clearfield. I... Uh, Alliteration. I love Clearfield Cataclysm. That was my idea. That's right. It's amazing. That's right. I slipped that one to Norm Connors, and he ran with it for four shows. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, right. enough of that. Enough of that. It's been the Indie Mayhem Show. It's been a blast talking with you. Amen. The highlight of my evening. Sir, I start Thank talking you. with people. Well, I don't talk with them, but I, I facilitate talking with, phil- with people with PhDs. <laughs> and then I end the night with you. That that <laughs> better way to end it. I am just as good as anyone with a PhD. Source said it first. You heard so. it here. You heard it here. So uh, with that, of course, check everything out. WrestlingMayhemShow.com, iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, <gasps> audio and video versions as well. Uh, um, and you can hit us up at good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com for one two two zero six WMS zero is the hotline. Check out Wrestling Mayhem Show on your Facebook, on your Google Plus, the great Facebook group to talk all wrestling, indie and otherwise. Um, can we get a little casual beg battle every once in a while too? And uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. He's at Amen Two Please. I'm at Sorgatron, and we are at Out of Here. Go support some indie wrestling. Never said I was a gangster or thug, but I'm an animal. Peanut for the taste of the four. Sick, sick, sick. You know how I act now.